Hi, welcome. We are Shannon and Marissa. We're from the Child Life team and we're coming to you today to do some Halloween projects. We're gonna have some fun in the rehab playroom to celebrate Halloween. We're doing it a little different this year because of COVID. So we hope you join along and have some fun. Woo -woo -woo -woo. <laughs> so Shannon, I love your costume. Thank you. Big fan, 10 out of 10. Um, I'm Mrs. Potts yes. from Beauty and the Beast. For those of you who don't yes. know about Beauty and the Beast, Mrs. Potts was the mother teapot. Mm -hmm. And you are? I am a pinata. See, yours is a little bit easier to know what it is than mine. I get that. <laughs> I love the ruffles. Yes. Oh, thank you. Moves a little bit. So I didn't what, bring the bat, but you know. <laughs> so what are we going to make today? So we're going to do a couple different activities today and then have a couple fun surprises at the end too. But the first one that we are going to make, we named uh, the trick or treat experiment. So I will read off a couple of the things that we're going to need for materials. And this one is super easy, don't really need much, and it's perfect to do after you get all that candy after Halloween. So we are going to get a white plate, a white like ceramic dinner plate, some warm hot water, and some Skittles. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so to start off this activity, we are going to get our Skittles all together. We already okay. poured them into this cup and got some Halloween colored ones, like Ooh. green, red, purple, orange. And we are going to make a fun little design on our plates. So afterwards, we're gonna pour our water on it and all of the colors are kind of gonna like melt across the plate. All right. So what do you think? What? are you going to do on your plate? Um, I think I'm going to do a spooky girl. Ooh, I like it. I'm thinking I'm going to do a, I think a pumpkin. Okay. I'm going to stick with a pumpkin. Okay. Let's do it. So, you know, I'm going to just dump them all in my hand too. All right. See, this is going to help me seeing these pictures of the pumpkins on the directions <laughs> to know how I'm to make gonna it. I'm going to do, you know, uh, Unique design yeah. of a spooky spook. Maybe I'll do like with a mouth going. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. So Shannon and I have our costumes picked out. You guys should definitely leave us a comment on what you're going to be for Halloween because we are so excited to hear. I'm really excited to hear. Yeah. Um, you know, wonder if anyone's going to be a butterfly. Ooh. Um, I've really enjoyed um, helping the monarch population this summer, so maybe Ooh. there'll be some butterflies out there. That sounds pretty. You know, I heard someone who's going to be a transformer this year, and I thought that sounded super cool. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to have any moving parts. Well, I'm making a little tiny one. <laughs> I might need to make my pumpkin bigger. <laughs> yes, you might. Do you need some... If you need to borrow any of my flavors, let me know. Oh, thank you, Shannon. This is gonna look so cool. All right, maybe I'll put a little... I wonder hat. what other things we can make on here, too. I don't know if I'm gonna put a hat on there. I think mine's gonna look a little bit more like a smiley face than a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> look at my person. I'm gonna turn it around Aww. so you can see it. That looks awesome. So there's eyes, nose, and a mouth where the person's going, boo. Boo. <laughs> Ooh, I like your pumpkin. Oh, thank you, thank you. Ooh, we lost a little bit. There we go, they're rolling away. Okay, so now that we have our design all laid out, the next part, we are going to add a thin layer of water across the whole plate. You just pour it on? Yeah, you just kind of pour it around. Okay, let's try it. And then it'll take just a little bit for the colors to start going. Oh, look at that. Ours are already starting to get a little bit. Ooh. Wondering if I should add a little more. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Mine's bought. Ooh, moving. look at yours. Ooh. Oh, I see. So look at his head. Yeah. Or her head's kind of getting a bigger shape now. Oh, that's cool. I think that's so interesting that all of your colors are just sticking together. They're not really mixing. Same oh, with the ones on my plate, too. Interesting. Look at that. 
Oh, that's cool. Your, your um, pumpkin almost has hair now. Yeah, it does. I like that. Almost a little bit like these guys. And look at this. It almost looks like a ghost kind of up here. Ooh, see, very spooky. I like it. I can turn it around, but sort of looked like a little bit of a spooky ghost. That is so cool. And for you guys at home, it smells amazing. <laughs> I want a candle that smells like this. And if you like Ooh. Skittles, it smells delish. Oh, that smells so good. Well, good job, Shannon. That looks awesome. I think these both turned out really cool. Look, Ooh, it's kind look of mixing the, now. Look at that. Oh, that's I nice. hope you guys have fun and yeah. you girls have fun making this at home. Yeah. And now we'll throw our things together and get ready for our next activity. And we're back. So <laughs> now we're gonna go on to an experiment called floating spiders. Yeah. So for this one, I'm not gonna lie, Shannon, I'm scared of spiders, but I think I can handle these ones. Ooh, I like spiders. <laughs> so uh, this is another one that doesn't take a lot to do, which is gonna be great, it's really okay. easy. So we are gonna use the same plate as we did before, that okay. white ceramic dinner plate. And we're gonna get an erasable marker and just a cup and some water. Okay, does the water need to be warm? You know, I don't think so, but okay. let's do a test. Okay. I have some cold water here and I think you have some warm water. Okay. So, so let's see, see how they do. Okay, I perfect. Like it. So first, the fun part, which I'm not a very good drawer, but I think we can do this too. So we are gonna draw several spiders across our plate. Okay. All right, so we color in the pen. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do a big one. Maybe okay. give it a couple of eyes. A little smile, make it less scary. <laughs> I told you, I'm scared of spiders. I didn't know that about you. Yeah. Not much else, but spiders does it for me. Okay, so we're gonna draw. It's gonna have lots of legs. Did you know that there's a lot of different variety of spiders out there? I didn't. But it's comforting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your spiders look good, Shannon. I have to try one like that. Do you do the body, a little head. Do you know how many legs spiders have? I don't. Well, they have eight legs. Ooh, so I'm put, missing a couple. I put eight appendages on my spiders, but you can do whatever you want. Ooh. I wonder, I'm looking at the picture on our directions too. I'm wondering if I can try to draw a spider web too. I think that'd be Ooh, cool. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna put one over here. A little bit of like a spider web. Not too shabby. I'm gonna have it go down too. When I make my spiders, I do a circle and then I kind of do a half circle for the head. Oh, that looks good. And then I just make little lines for the legs. I was thinking we can make. That looks good. That's like it's. Up its web. I think I'm gonna make one more of these guys. Can I make a pumpkin too, or do we Ooh. have to just do spiders? You know, I think we can do whatever we want. Good idea. Okay. So it could be like a pumpkin in the dark. Oh, cute. Oh, you guys all have to tell. I did a circle and a triangle. Nice. Some triangle eyes. Oh yeah, I see the little stem. And then. You guys will have to leave in the comments if you guys have made any jack-o'-lanterns this year or plan on doing it. I've seen a lot of really cool ones where people put faces or they, I saw one that looked like Despicable Me in there. It was really cute. Oh, okay. Fun. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, that is a spooky okay. pumpkin. Let me show. Yeah. You. So here's some on our plates. Uh, Marissa made a happy <laughs> spider. How cute is that? I tried, I tried. <laughs> well, your spiders look awesome. So the next step, and we'll see, remember we said I have colder water and Shannon has warmer water. So we're gonna take our water and pour it over our plate near, but not on top of the spiders. And they're supposed to disappear? They're supposed to float. Float, okay. 
So it might take a little, oh, I see a little bit. Oh, I see a couple legs moving. Whoa. Oh my goodness, I think I might have too much water. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, I see a leg moving. Oh, I see. I wonder if it takes a little bit of time to start floating. Oh, Whoa. I see what you mean. They like, oh, they, they kind of float up, up off the, off oh. the plate. I wonder if it just takes a little bit of time too. I see some of my legs are floating Ooh. around. Look at there. The oh, spider's oh, trying it's to picking move. up. Oh. Whoa. oh my goodness, it is. Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that, it's just stuck here. Should I go, bloop? Yeah. Whoa, that. look at it go. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's, it's walking over to my pumpkin to be friends with it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is moving. See, so it looked like it worked with both water, but I think that the warm water worked a little bit better. See, I just got some floaty legs. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. And isn't it funny how this one didn't really yeah. lift up? But Ooh, a little bit when you touch fun. it. I wonder if it takes a little bit more time with the water on there too for it to float. But you got two really good ones floating off there. This was nice. fun, Marissa. <laughs> so guys, we are very, very excited for our next project too. Because I'm not going to lie, it is one of our favorites out of the three. Yes. So we will get all set up and then come yeah. back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. We are on to our third project. Today uh, we are going to do some glow in the dark slime. I really like slime. Yeah, me too. Oh, huge fan. And so uh, Marissa is going to tell us the materials that you need yeah. to collect and we'll get started. Yeah, we thought this one was good for Halloween. Nice and spooky. So I was going to say we only need a couple things for this one. We are going to start off with a bowl a spoon, some glow-in-the-dark glue, and then our special ingredient is Magical Liquid, also from Elmer's. And you can get these guys from Walmart, Target, Amazon, pretty much wherever. Okay. <laughs> well, this looks fun. Yeah, I'm excited. Ooh, I like it. Love the bright pink color of yours, too. Yeah, so you can just yeah. take the cap right off yep. like this and then start pouring it into your bowl. The whole thing? Ooh, oh my look gosh. Look at this. This kind has some glitter in it. Marissa, you know how much I love glitter. Oh my gosh, yes. It's so sparkly. I'd have to shake it a couple times to get all of it out there. Yeah, like Shannon said, the whole bottle of glue is going in here. Oh, there we go. It already looks kind of slimy already. It's like goopy and sticking together. Here it comes. See, I like this slime too because Did it's already colored. Yeah. Ooh. For other slimes that we've made in the past, we have to put like food coloring or a few other ingredients, but this one's nice. That's literally just two. What's your favorite color? Ooh, probably blue. So very fitting. <laughs> That's my favorite color too. Aww. Yeah, blue and purple, maybe green, t or I'm just naming every color I'm wearing. <laughs> I like pink too, but um, I really like that bright blue, like the ocean. Yeah. So I think that is about as much glue as I'm going to get out of here. You think it's okay if we have a little left at the oh, bottom? Oh yeah. See, that's the best part. Later, if it's still a little bit sticky, we can add a little bit more magical liquid. Mixing okay. about a teaspoon at a time. And okay. if it's a little bit too gooey, then we can add a little bit more glue. Okay, so is this the magical liquid it is. already measured out? Yes, I already measured it out. See, this kind of looks like glue too, but it looks watery. So, so now, next, we're gonna measure out what we just did, a fourth a cup of the magical liquid. So don't pour it in. And then, oh no, you beat me to it. And then we're just gonna add it to our mixing bowl. So this must be a fourth of a cup, huh? Yeah. So we're just gonna pour the whole thing in. Okay. I think it kind of looks like egg whites. <laughs> yeah, it does. Maybe I'm just hungry. 
And then we are going to mix it super well with our spoon or spatula, whatever you got laying around. And then when it starts combining, we're gonna finish off by kneading our slime by hand. Right now it almost looks like frosting, but you really Ooh. can't eat it because it would taste like glue. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, mine's already combining quite a bit. Oh yeah. Whoa, you need to I even can more. add a little bit more glue just yeah. to see what happens. Hang on, I might do a little bit more glue as well. Oh, these colors are so pretty. But I was going to say, if you don't, if you can't find glue in the dark slime, I think you can make it the same way. If you just have regular white slime or clear, or excuse me, white glue or clear glue, and then you add it with that magical liquid too. But I'm really excited. I was going to say, we may not get to see it glow in the dark now, but we can see how bright it is. You could definitely see it in the dark. Oh, it really does glow in the dark? Yeah, glow oh, in the dark slime. Wow. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> oh, I'm already getting nice and messy. This is nice. All right. Oh, there she goes. I think I might do that too, just switch right to my hands. So we're going to mix it up. Ooh. Yeah, and get in there and start working it with your hands. Ooh, it feels slippery. It does. I like it. Look at that. You know, it if looks... it was green, I think I'd call it ghoul slime. Look at it, it almost looks like spider web. Oh, or... it totally does. Or like flubber. <laughs> Those sparkles look so cool. And now, like we said too, if the slime seems a little bit sticky, you can add more of the magical liquid but if it doesn't feel sticky, then you can add a little bit more glue. So I think for mine, I'd maybe add a little bit more glue, but this feels so cool. It's like satisfying. Now, let's tell the viewers, Ooh. does it feel hot or cold? Uh, it's like pretty like cold. Yeah, cold. It does feel cold. Cold I, and slimy. I, I feel the same. Ooh. I don't think I've ever felt hot slime before. That sounds cool. What's your favorite kind of slime you've made, Shannon? Other than this one, of course. <laughs> mm, I um, I really like the galactic slime too. So it's similar Ooh. to this with the sparkles, but it's like kind of swirly Ooh, yeah. and it looks kind of like um, outer space. Oh, I love that. You know, we were just saying earlier too, I saw a video of someone who made slime who they put food in it which I thought was crazy. I had never seen that before. I wonder if you put Skittles in it, if it would <sighs> melt. Oh, that's a good idea. Or maybe some of the colors would soak into your slime too. Ooh, yeah. that's a good idea. Whoa. Oh, well, yours is mixing really well. Oh. It's getting okay, so, so long. The good thing, uh, or the thing that um, is good about this is it's really gooey. But you want to make sure that you ask an adult if you can use the table mm -hmm. because I just dripped some on the table. So this table is easy <laughs> to wash off. Super easy. It made me think that, you know, certain tables might not be as easy oh, to wash. That looks so cool. That is so true. I want to see. I hear it making popping sounds like there's little bubbles in it. I wonder if I can make like a giant bubble. I don't know if I can. Nope. <laughs> not quite Maybe ready with some yet. more practice. But this is our goal of the dark slime. If any of you make it, we'd love to see some pictures of it too. But we have yes. two more surprises for you guys after this. So we will get all cleaned up and then be right back. Mine's a, <laughs> mine is getting mixed together now. It looks but, awesome. But um, yeah, we need to wipe up the table. <laughs> And now we're going to read you a story. It is called The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt, and it's written by Rael Nelson. It's a cute story about a ghost who wasn't your typical ghost. He was a quilt-shaped ghost. <laughs> awesome. What do you say, Shannon? Should we get started? I wonder if any of our listeners have heard this story before. Yeah, I haven't, so I'm very excited. 
Once there was a little ghost who was a quilt. He didn't know why he was a quilt. His mom and dad and all of his friends were sheets. They were light as air and they flew high and fast and twirled and whirled in the sky. They would even ride on a gust of wind and whoosh back to the ground like they were going down an invisible slide. The little ghost who was a quilt was heavy because of his layers of fabric. It was hard for him to lift off and he was a slow flyer. He got hot, he got sweaty, and he was tired to go fast. When he tried to go fast, he got tired. The only time he attempted to twirl and whirl, it didn't end well. One day, he and his friends were at the park when they heard someone coming. His friends zoomed away because ghosts are terrified of people, but the little ghost couldn't escape quickly enough. He flopped over on a bench. A family came along and a little boy who was eating an ice cream cone sat down beside him. The little ghost had never seen so had never been so close to a human before, and he felt fear in every fiber of his fabric. The boy only stayed a few minutes, but he dropped a big blob of melted ice cream right on the little ghost's face. Later, when some other ghosts saw him, they laughed at the stain on his forehead. The little ghost was very embarrassed and he was also very sticky. The little ghost didn't like being different. His mom told him he had an ancestor who was a checkered tablecloth and a great grandmother was an elegant lace curtain. Everyone said she was the most beautiful ghost they'd ever seen. Even knowing that, the little ghost didn't feel any better. He wished he was just one fabric and not a whole bunch of squares sewn together. The other ghosts called him Scrappy, and he didn't like that. But there was one day that always cheered him up. Do you know what it was? I don't. It's Halloween. Oh. People seemed excited about ghosts on Halloween, and sometimes children dressed as them to trick or treat. Every year, the ghosts went to watch the festivities. They stayed silent and still in the trees, pretending to be decorations far away from the humans. So there they were up in the trees. Too heavy to hover, the little ghost who was a quilt usually draped himself over a clothesline. He never had a very good view. So sometimes, Marissa, people put their clothes outside on a line like this oh, to dry yeah. them. So he flipped over the clothesline and would try to peek at the trick-or-treaters that way. Mm -hmm. This year, he had a better plan. He remembered how close he had been to a boy at the park. So he decided he would be brave and fold himself over a chair on the porch right in the center of the action. Mm. Halloween night came and the little, the little ghost flew as fast as he could, but he was only halfway across the lawn when he heard people coming. At the last possible second, he flopped over the porch rail. A mom walked up the driveway with a little girl dressed as a ballerina. While the little girl trick-or-treated, the mother asked the man at the door something. What did he ask? I wonder what he asked. The next thing the little ghost knew, the mom had picked him up. 
He was so scared he thought it seemed he might come unstitched. The mom wrapped the little ghost around the little girl, just like this, and put them both in the wagon. The little girl had been cold, and now the little ghost was keeping her warm. He could hardly believe what was happening. Aww. They headed down the street, past his friends, to their tree. No, don't go, one whispered. What are you doing? They were talking to him from the trees. The little ghost decided to fly away as soon as the girl got out of the wagon to trick or treat again. But the mom didn't turn into the next yard or the one after that. By the time she finally walked up to a house, the little ghost was panicked. How was he going to get away? The mother parked the wagon, carried the little girl and the little ghost into the house. The little ghost didn't know what to do. He reminded himself to stay calm, be brave. The little ghost peeked around the room. There were Halloween decorations everywhere. He even saw a branch trimmed with lollipop ghosts. They looked just like his friends in the tree. Look at, there's the tree with the lollipop ghosts. <laughs> the girl tucked the little ghost, who was a quilt, under her legs as she sorted her candy into piles. He felt surprisingly cozy. Maybe things would turn out okay after all. The little girl ate a chocolate bar and she wiped her sticky fingers on the little ghost. He didn't even mind. <laughs> After the little girl was asleep upstairs, her mom gently folded the little ghost who was a quilt. She smiled and admired his fabric and traced her fingers along each line of the stitching. It tickled. <laughs> She set the little ghost on the couch and went upstairs too. When she was gone, he flew into the fireplace and up the chimney. His smile was three squares wide. The little ghost's friends cheered and rushed over to him. They were amazed by his courage and they wanted to hear every detail about his adventure. They flew slowly along with him all the way home. The little ghost was so happy that he felt like he was floating without even trying. Everything that had happened was because he was a little bit different. Everything had happened because he was a, because he was a quilt. And guess what? He was so happy that he was light as a feather and he flew way up in the air with his friends. Aww. Well, thank you, Shannon. That was an awesome book. So, Aww. guess what? What? We thought it would be fun if friends out in, um, out there who are watching our show, if they would like to comment in the comment box, we are gonna take all of the names and raffle off the little ghost book. So, be sure to comment and put your name there so that we can put you in the drawing. Yeah. You can comment whatever you want. Maybe what your Halloween costume's going to be, if you have a favorite candy, yeah. or maybe even your favorite part of the book. Or if you try one of the art projects. Yes. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, I think we have one final surprise after this book, so we will be right back. <laughs> So this final activity is something that Marissa and I found. It's made by Snazaroo and it's a hyperallergenic kind of paint that um, is Gillette approved. And so um, it's pretty neat because this book here, it teaches you all the steps that you need to create different uh, face paint projects. 
And so today, we're going to make Marissa into a pumpkin. So right here, it tells us we're gonna need orange, orange, and we're gonna need a sponge. So, to make orange, we don't have an orange color. So we're gonna wanna take some red, and we're going to mix it into the yellow because red and yellow make orange. So we're gonna try to make a good orange here. Let's make a little bit more red in there. Twirl it around, twirl it around. And once we get the orange that we want, then we're going to take the sponge. I'm gonna get it a little wet and I'm gonna dab it into the orange color. Now I'm gonna take and I'm going to dab this on Marissa's face, just like this. And it's amazing, a little goes a long way. So if we want a little more, we'll just dab back into the color there. We're gonna go around this way. Now you can see this time it looks a little bit yellowy, so we're gonna add a little more red to our yellow. I feel like all the autumn leaves right now. Yeah, <laughs> red and yellow. <laughs> I think Keith, our music therapist, and Beth know some fall leave songs. Ooh, about to tune in on Wednesdays. Yeah. So we're going to put a little more orange here. All the way around. Like this. I think I want a little more orange. So I'm going to add a little more red here. Like yeah, this was a really cool book that Shane found too. It has all sorts of different designs. Like we were just saying how our friend was a puppy dog. And I see a butterfly right now. Lots of cool ideas. Can be a pirate. Oh. There is a lot of different choices. Um, there's like a, oh, a dragon. <laughs> so after we put the orange on, and like I said, you can make it as dark orange as you want. Then after that, we're going to take like a thin paintbrush I'm going to dip it in the black, and we're going to give Marissa a nose. So on <laughs> this, I'm going to put my hand right here, but on this book it shows like a triangle nose, but you could really do whatever you want. So I'm going to make Marissa into a triangle for her pumpkin nose. Now you can see here, you don't have to be perfect. Looks a little light right now, so then we're gonna add a little bit more black to our paintbrush. Paint over the top like that. And you don't have to be an artist to do this. Um, I don't have an art background. It just tells you the steps that you need. So then it tells you to outline the face. So we're gonna go around the edge, kind of where her pumpkin faces. I'm gonna go all the way around like that. And then it shows to make some little pumpkin lines like that. See, I went out of the line a little bit, so we just fill that in. There's no right or wrong. And then dip it back into the paint. We're gonna come around this way. Make another circle around her face. And then we're gonna put some stripes on this side. These stripes are just like little pumpkin accents, I guess you'd say. And then after that, it shows to take some green to make the stem. So I'm gonna dip in here and kind of make a stem that has a little top to it. Like this. So Snazaroo has the highest standards for their 
face paint in the cosmetic industry. Wow. So we checked into that to make sure that they don't have any things that wouldn't be good for your skin. Yeah, it feels really nice. Not too and heavy. then it just washes off with soap and mm -hmm. water, so yeah. it's yeah. easy to get rid of at the end of the day when you don't want any more. And then if you want, we don't have it here, but you can get like a little glitter and add a little glitter to your <laughs> pumpkin. And voila, there's more slime in it. Then you always <laughs> want to have a mirror yeah. with you so Marissa can look in the mirror. Oh, that looks awesome. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, thank you, Shannon. You're welcome. Oh, that's fun. So it's just a few <laughs> steps. The sponge, yeah. the sponge came with our set, and the paintbrushes came, and the book came with our set. So you can just go online and try to find it. We also purchased extra makeup brushes mm -hmm. so that, um, you know, if I wanted to paint my face, I could use different brushes than you, so we yeah. weren't mixing the brushes. Yeah, or for and different then colors, too. Yeah. We can wash this brush with soap and water and reuse it. We can wash off the red, the orange from the yellow, and then it will go right back to yellow. So this lasts for a long time because there's a lot in each dish. And um, so there's a little project that you can get. Snazaroo, great face paint, we love it. Yeah. And happy pumpkin. <laughs>